Accept the Call of Ice Crown, which will appear in your log after turning in a Pact of Necessity. Click on the Death Gate, which is open for you. Once at Acherus, follow High Lord Darian Mulgrain. Ah, so the Lich King chose you to be his hand. I'm not surprised. We have all heard of your exploits. Our forces have gathered from all across Northrend. When the call to action comes, and it will come soon, the Knights of the Ebon Blade will be ready. Make no mistake, we are not bound to this new Lich King. However, he may prove a valuable ally against the Legion. For now, our goals align with his. And in the meantime, it is in our best interest that the Scourge stay... contained. The gates of Ice Crown lie to the north. Do not keep our ally waiting. Travel north coordinates 5917. We're about to pull out of here! Mulgreen will kill us if we hold things up! We're already dead, uh, idiot! Champion, there is much to be done. Enter the gates of Ice Crown Citadel straight ahead at 59 0. Many of the souls freed by Frostborn's destruction wander the halls of Ice Crown. Lashing out in eternal torment. Once in Ice Crown Citadel, defeat any mobs you come across while heading toward 5172. Destroy them and gather the fragments of the blade, for they will be the heart of your new weapon. Use Death Grip on the Phantom Mage channeling Freezing Winds. When you arrive at 5172, a pair of stone skin gatekeepers will be guarding the path into the next room. Defeat each of the gatekeepers while standing atop a pressure plate.
You may need to use Death Grip on one or both of them if they do not die on the plate. Enter the next room and fight Belgian Flamebeard. Run away when he begins casting Whirlwind. Collect the Fragment of Frostmourne located on top of the frozen pedestal. Travel northeast to 6054 where you will fight Holic the Deathbringer. Interrupt him when he begins casting Holy Light. Collect the fragment located on top of the frozen pedestal. Travel northwest to 5540 where you will fight Magroth the Defender.
Collect the fragment located on top of the frozen pedestal. Travel south to 5146 where you will fight Gavinrad the Cruel. Once hailed by Arthas as a brother, Gavinrad too was ultimately fed to Fort Morn. Grant him a final death. Collect the fragment located on top of the frozen pedestal. Travel south to 5153 and step on the Scourge Transporter. Click the hilt of Frostmourne. It is done. From the shards of Frostmourne, the twin blades are born. Soon, they shall feed upon the souls of my enemies. I sense powerful spirits remain within the blade. Enter into the spiritual realm within, and purge them of all that resist your domination. Listen to the Lich King and then click on the Blades of the Fallen Prince. Take up the blade, Arthas Minethil. Embrace your destiny. Yes, you are right. I will bear any curse to have my revenge. An intruder! You won't stop me. Frostmourne will be mine! Nothing will stop When fighting Echo of Arthas Menethel during Stage 1, avoid standing in the pools left behind by Shadow Strike. His soul belongs to me! While fighting Arthas, observe the Void Barrage cast by Echo of Inurzul and stay out of its path. Stay on the move and be sure to avoid standing in Razor Ice. You can use an ability like Anti-Magic Shield to mitigate this damage. Stage 2 begins when Arthas reaches around 25% health, lasting around 1 minute. During this stage, Arthas will become immune to all damage. Arthas consume you. Feast upon the souls of the damned! During this stage, Arthas casts Dark Pact, calling Scourge mobs to him. You must kill the Scourge before they reach and heal him.
When stage 2 concludes, he'll go back to stage 1. Feel the icy chill of death around you! After defeating the Echo of Arthas Menethil, you will be transported back to the Frozen Throne. Curse you, Interlooper! All my plans ruined. Collect your artifact weapon, the Blades of the Fallen Prince. Ascend to the throne and receive the mark of the Lich King. Where the weak showed mercy, you did not hesitate to strike. Where the unworthy were vanquished, you have conquered. I now mark you with my sigil. Let all recognize you as the enforcer of my will. As we speak, the Ebon Blade is en route to the Broken Isles to hunt for the Dreadlords. Go, ensure that not a single demon escapes my wrath. Crush all who stand in your Click the Acheres Waygate to be transported back to Acheres. Work complete. Travel southeast to coordinates 50-50. Turn the quest to High Lord Mulgrain. We know much about sacrifice. We will see it through. It is time you are given a position that befits your accomplishments. Knights of the Ebon Blade, assemble as we honor one of our own. Before us this day stands our comrade in arms. You have all heard the legends of countless battles fought, of trials overcome at great cost. His exemplary deeds in the name of the Ebon Blade have shown him to be one of the best of us, worthy of our highest honor. By the will of the Lich King, and upon my authority as High Lord, I declare that this champion, wielder of the Blades of the Fallen Prince, will henceforth be known as Death Lord of the Ebon Blade. You will all bow to him as you once did to me and carry out his will against the Legion!